Hello, I'm Grant from Maker's Log, and today I am making some uh, palm paddles, iambic paddles for Morse code. Uh, if you've seen the other video, which would have been quite long, I made the gear for it, which is this wee device here. Uh, now I'm actually going to make this itself. Um, now, on the uh, this is from the QRP guys, QRP guys iambic paddle with bass, and this is the bass. Um, and on their, their difficulty rating that they, they use, oh, that's not good for it. On the difficulty rating that they use, um, this is marketed as a four, so relatively difficult. From what I understand, the, the difficulty is due to, um, you have to have everything just, so everything needs to be flush and square. So we're gonna do our best. Um, I apologize, you'll hear a bit of background noise here. It is bloody cold in here. And if you've seen the, uh, the last video where I made um, this you will know I currently have a guest in here with me and Roger Rabbit uh, Needs to be nice and warm because he's probably still in shock after being battered by the cat um, If you want more details on that go back and watch the other video So We need a few bits and pieces here right off the bat. So we need the backstop, which is this bit We need the left leaf and right leaf holder, which is this and this. Uh, this container here did not come with it. This is just one I had just to keep all of the parts together. And this here, which is the, um, this is like a wee alignment gauge to keep everything in the right spot. So, what I need to do, so I'm just looking, I have the instructions here on my right. So from the looks, what I need to do is attach this to here, which would make sense. So there's a lot of soldering on this, but there isn't too many um, actual components, um, as far as electrical components, that is. Um, there's a lot of soldering to create a, a mechanical fixture rather than anything else. Um, There we go. And I need a nut. That just like that way do that. There we go. Let's see that's not straight. There we go. Okay, so let's send the dirt is to, once you've fixed your um, uh, your little gauge, what you do is you put this here and line it up and make sure that everything is square. So you probably need about 12 hands to do this, but uh, we'll see how we go. So that is pretty bang on. The looks. And I apologize for the camera angle here, but I need to look at this um, straight on myself so that I can um, make sure that everything's square. Okay, cool. Okay, and it's saying once, once you've got it lined up, you need to tack it in place. So I'm going to use my helping hands keep things flat um, but a bit raised if that makes sense so I could just put this on the uh, on the table and it would be flat but I want it slightly lifted up so that um, I can get the soldering iron to it easily so And I'm going to turn my soldering iron up to about 400 degrees just because these are quite chunky um, pads and I want to be able to get um, a lot of heat on there quickly and then in with the soldering iron so that uh, I can tack it quickly. Ah, bugger. Much like that. So, 
Let's line all this back up again. Now, what I could do is I could tighten this down further if I wanted, but I don't really want it to be um, that tight. Now, what I might do if uh, if I don't get it this time, um, I will get a a small clamp just to hold it in place. Ah, no, moving up. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to get a wee, uh, a wee clamp just to hold it where it needs to be so that I can uh, stick it in place. I should have one handy somewhere. There it is here. Just. Okay. There we go. So I have uh, I've tacked those two sides. Just double check it and make sure it rings square. Do you know what? That looks pretty damn good. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to uh, solder the uh, inner uh, pads. Get a bit of solder on them. There we go. Okay, cool. And then that's both inner and outer done. Um, that was a bit fiddly. fiddly. Um, I, I would say a, a, a clamp of some shape or form um, is definitely useful there to be able to uh, keep everything where you want it to be. Okay, for this bit, what you do is you get the uh, wee nylon spacer, this guy here, and the long bolt, and your two leaf holders, which are these two rectangular pieces here. Uh, let me see, that is C, so that goes, it lines, it's all uh, labelled C, goes to C, B goes to B. Put your long bolt through the upper. hole so as it's um, sitting flush on the board it's it's the upper board uh, let me just actually move this in apologies again I can't zoom because I'm on the uh, the front camera of the phone um, but you put your nylon spacer in like that then you add the B component Again through the top, and then you fasten that down with a nut. And again, you need about twelve hands for this, but it's not—it's not the most complicated thing in the world. It's just—it's uh, just fiddly. So set that down there. Tighten that up a bit, and there we go. And then you have that wee spacer like so. Okay, and then this works same way again. I'm gonna try this. No, yeah. Let's just try and get this as flat as possible in these grips. What you do is you line these up against the backstop. So you need to get it either side of the alignment gauge. So I've tightened this a bit too tight. So I'll loosen it off a bit. There we go. And put that like 
like so. I think I'll tighten that back down again. Which should help hold it in place. So there you go, tighten that down and make it all square. Or as square as possible. And then same again, you just tack it down. There you go, and then you solder those pads. Now what you do is you check, make sure everything's aligned, and then you take out the alignment gauge and the nylon washer. Now, mine is actually a little bit out. You can see it there, it's sort of come away from the backstop ever so slightly. And do you know what, I'm gonna leave it and see. Oh, I wanna see what the margin of error is in this. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'll just need to take it apart and, and try again. I'm happy to try that, but I'm just, I really want to know what, how, how spot on does this need to be? Given it's an iambic here, I think it probably needs to be very, very close. So um, we'll we'll see, and uh, I'll let you know. Okay, so now that that's done. The next bit is we need to put the brass nut and uh, one of the screws through, coming up this way with the brass nut on the top, and then we need to solder the nut. Um, to this pad. Okay, and once you've done that, you're gonna see. So you solder that onto onto that pad. Once that's done, um, that's apparently all of the mechanical soldering done. So now we just go ahead and attach the jacks and other um, input areas on here in the the header pins. So uh, go ahead and do that now. And there you go, and you solder on the headers and the uh, audio jack. Uh, something I forgot to mention, once you've soldered the nut in place, uh, you can then remove this screw because you need, to, uh, you need to put a screw in from the top down in the next part. Okay, for the next bit now we're starting to attach the, uh, the paddles essentially. So what you need is one of the skinnier bolts and you put a locking washer which is the wee one with like it has like a wee overlapped bit on it a locking washer and then a flat washer like so and then you put in the uh, little uh, nylon spacer and then you attach that into the uh, bolt And there you go, and that's it there. Um, I, I made a mistake earlier, I said that a skinny screw, I actually mean the, the same screw that you use to hold the, the bolt in place, it's the same one. Um, a good point about this kit is it's very good at uh, making it somewhat idiot proof, as proof because I can bloody make the thing. Um, if it doesn't fit, it's not meant to be there. Um, all of these things are um, seemingly the correct size for each particular point, um, so if, if you're having trouble fitting something into a particular point, take it away, double check, make sure you've got the right screw, bolt, or whatever it is. So now we are assembling the paddles. Okay, this is the bit where you can uh, easily lose things. So you use the, essentially the remaining screws and bolts. You use a nylon washer uh, sorry, a nylon spacer, a bolt, a washer, and a, another flat washer, and essentially bolt it into, into the sides and attach your leaves either side. For this bit, have the schematic on hand, uh, or the instructions on their website to look at, because it, it, it's really difficult to show, especially given I don't have a zoom here. So I would check that. But um, yeah, it's just you just bolt them in with a bit of a spacer, and that's you ready to rock and roll. And that's it done. So you got the you put the rubber bits on the end, and you're ready to rock and roll. And here I've got the uh, the care 
than I made in the other video. The only thing I did was I attached a uh, 9 volt connector on there just so I could plug it into a battery. And then you can uh, give her a go. So that's it. Now all I need to do is uh, learn Morse code. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've liked, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, I'll see you later.